Task Force for General Education Reform. General Education Reform. Good evening, and welcome to this week's episode of Three Minutes with the GER Task Force. Tonight, my guest is Angela Vandenelsen. Uh, Angela, welcome. Thank you, Rob. Um, so we, um, Angela, we've been hearing a lot about this, this notion of design principles. What can you tell us about design principles? What are they? Well, I wanted to learn a little bit more about this myself, so I consulted the resources and I found this excellent film, which we'll show you now. Terrific. General education revision succeeds when faculty establish guiding principles for the revision process early on in the process. Design principles, what I'm going to tell you about today, are principles that inform and constrain curriculum models that are being considered and implemented. These help the task force focus on what's important to the university and stakeholders. Wow, that was a great clip. Um, some jargon in there though, right? Maybe you could explain some of that to us? Yeah, I'd be happy to. So design principles can also be thought of as value statements. Sure. And so um, a simple one might be to create a model that will uh, allow single degree students to graduate in four years. And so the task force is going to use the feedback we've been receiving um, all year and from the interactive poster exhibit um, that has been up in Samson House uh, to create. Extended. Yes, Held yes, over. extended, yes, yep. due to popular demand. Um, <laughs> and so we're going to use those, um, all that feedback to create a brief set of design principles. And we're going to use those to guide us um, and help us to come up with specific models. So in thinking about how the posters specifically are going to help us, um, just as an example, um, so if we consider the poster about model structures, so you may recognize this maybe from the poster sessions. Um, we have distribution, distribution plus themes, integration, so different types of models. Right. Um, so this will help to inform us, and the feedback we're getting from this will help to inform us um, uh, if we should pre present more models that are distributive, so students take classes, um, a set number of courses from each division, um, or more integrative, where students take courses and have experiences that um, show the connectedness between multiple divisions. Um, so from that, we might create a design principle that says, consider more integrative models. So um, yeah, the design principles themselves are pretty brief. Um, so that, that actress, that terribly talented actress <laughs> in the last clip that we just saw, uh, mentioned um, inform and constrain. Um, that talks about the informed part. How, how do they constrain? Yeah, great question. So um, as these, they kind of focus as guide, or they, they work as guideposts. Um, and so the guiding principles will help the task force to um, keep our focus on the things that are the most important to the university um, when considering and developing new models. And what kind of time frame are we looking at? So we'd like to have a set of design principles um, created and ready to share with the faculty by June 2024. Wow, right around the corner. Mm -hmm. Well, that's all the time we have for tonight's episode of Three Minutes with the GER Task Force. I want to thank my guest, Angela. Thank you very much. Thank you, Rob, for having me. We'll see you next week. Same uh, GER channel. Task Force for General Education.